Okay, we're here in Clovis, California, and we've got a little repair that we did. Uh, we came in here, and these two pipes are tied together right here at this T, and then this fitting. We had a uh, little pipe nipple right here that came out of there, and then this 90 turned and went straight in and tied in with that gate valve. Well, the gate valve split and uh, spraying water everywhere. No way to repair it really straight back in line because there were no unions, so we just cut the whole assembly out. Went ahead and offset this right here just so that we could get this valve in, so we installed it vertically. It's a quarter turn uh, ball valve, so quarter turn off, quarter turn on. This is for the sprinklers. The main line valve is down there, you can see in the soil. So we got to tie back in, and as opposed to going to get a bunch of galvanized fittings and unions and whatnot, we opted to go with dielectric unions right there at points of connection. There is a brass nibble there, I'm not sure why I used that, but it's in. Brass valve, dielectric union, dielectric union, then just put some copper in, loop it back together. So right now you have full pressure to your sprinkler lines. Uh, water is onto the home. And outside of that, we've checked it for leaking. There's no dripping, anything going on there. A lot of corrosion down here, as you can see, around this fitting. Uh, so eventually that's gonna give away, as well as that piping. And then that valve being buried is not helpful. It's brass, but it's not a good place for it. An iron pipe should never be in soil. Uh, so anyways, uh, existing, not our work. And then uh, we checked everything. That's our, that's our one finger test right there. Don't try this at home, but right there. No water, same thing over here. So it's in good shape and uh, we are done.